So now we're going to remove the air bubbles using a small butane torch. I picked this torch up, I believe in the plumbing section. It has a little safety feature on here. So you're just going to push that down. You're going to click it. And then there's a button on the side here that turns it on. So you don't have to keep holding your finger on the button. Uh, and torches, they might, they're mostly very similar. I have two different ones and they both work basically the same way. So what I'm doing here is just taking the torch. I'm moving this very quickly back and forth because you don't want to hold the flame over the resin in one place for too long because it can burn and it can catch on fire because this basically is plastic. So what you're going to do is just very carefully moving it very fast over the surface, popping the little air bubbles and you'll see them pop because it's almost like a little white film and just go over that entire section. Let me see if I can get a side view for you here. I don't know if you can see the little bubbles in there, but there are a lot of little tiny white bubbles and you can see the nice lacing effect here for the silver. And you can see the distance I'm holding, maybe a couple, three inches up above the actual piece as I'm taking the heat gun to it here. And you may have to do this a few times because you'll notice as the resin sits, more bubbles will come to the surface. So you might have to do this a couple of different times. And then if you have any little pieces of hair or lint or who knows what else finds its way into this resin. <laughs> you can take a popsicle stick while it's still wet and remove those. And then just take the torch back over it again and we'll level it back out. While this is wet, that's the great thing. It will re-level itself. And if you do have it um, nice and level on your surface, it will be easier to, to do that. So I'm just continuing here with popping my little bubbles here. And I will say to be extra careful for the metallic ink up here because that is sitting on the surface. And I have had a few sparks with that before. <laughs> so here we go, a still shot of this once you've got all the bubbles removed. And, and it will drip here. So if you take your little popsicle stick and kind of just come around the edges of that, that will help you so you don't have as much cleanup to do once this dries. All right, so our next little step, we'll be adding a little bit of texture in here. We'll give it a few more minutes to see any, if any more air bubbles arise before we add the mica flakes because you really can't torch it after you do that because you don't want to have that on top and burning it. But you can see how faded my purple has gotten now. So now you just want to go ahead and cover this and give it a few seconds to set a little bit and we'll add those mica flakes next. 